everybody and welcome back to my channel. I've had a couple of requests for simple or easy stretches or a simple sequence for uh, easing back pain or lower back pain. Now I'm going to start this video by explaining a little bit that um, lower back pain can be due to several reasons and one of them could be tightness in the muscles around the pelvis. Okay, so this is what I will be working on in this sequence and in the upcoming videos I'll be posting um, other exercises that could strengthen the back for example or open the hips because those are areas that could lead uh, or problems in those areas could lead to lower back pain as well. But like I said, today I'll be focusing a little more on the tightness in the hip flexors and the hamstrings um, and weakness in the core muscles. Now, just to explain that a little further, the hip flexors are a group of muscles um, and some of them run from the lower back, come around the hip and attach into the inner thighs or even into the knees, some of them. The psoas is one of uh, those important muscles um, and that one actually connects to five of the lumbar vertebra, vertebrae, so the lower back. And tightness in those muscles can lead to an excessive anterior pelvic tilt, like so. Okay? So we'll be working on those muscles just to gently stretch them out. And what also happens is that when you have that anterior pelvic tilt, an excessive anterior pelvic tilt, it creates an excessive pull in the hamstrings, in the muscles behind your leg and uh, that creates a little more tightness and then weakness in the abdominals lead to again excessive anterior pelvic tilt so awareness in this area of our body and a slight activation in these muscles can help to reduce this excessive curve okay and um, all these healthy curves are maintained when all the muscles around the pelvis are working in harmony or are working in balance, right? Um, so this is what we're going to work on. Now, if you have any acute or chronic pain, um, it could be due to some medical concern or it could be uh, a medical concern. So please do visit your uh, doctor or your physician or any healthcare professional for further help. These are just a few stretches that I recommend to ease out lower back pain. So we're going to get started on our backs. So very important to note, transi transitioning in and out of posture is as important as the postures themselves. So you want to uh, transition in and out safely and correctly. Hold on to the backs of your thighs, create a nice and long spine, inhale, and as you exhale, scoop the belly in, activate the core muscles, tuck the tailbone, and then one vertebra at a time, we're going to lower down onto the mat. So really use those abdominal muscles to lower down slowly. Nice job. Bring the feet as wide as the mat, bring the knees together. And notice the space between your lower back and the floor. You should ideally have a little bit of space there, which is the natural curve of the lower back. It should be enough to fit in a little grip there. Okay? So if it's excessive, if you feel that that space is a lot right now, try to lift the sitting bones a little bit, scoop the tailbone toward your heels and then settle down. So that should help you to decrease that space a little bit. Now bring your feet hip width distance, knees are parallel, thighs are parallel. We're going to start with a few pelvic tilts, okay? That will help you bring your awareness into this area and understand the tilting of your pelvis and activate your abdominal muscles. Bring the heels of your palms on top of the hip bones, the fingertips reach towards your pubic bone. Now imagine that little grip in between the lower back and the floor. Inhale, expanding through the ribs. And as you exhale, squish that little grip under the lower back. 
tilt the pelvis. So if you had a cup of tea on your pubic bone, it would be spilling over the belly. Draw the navel in, activate the core. Inhale, come back to neutral. This is what we call neutral when you have that natural curve in the lower back. Exhale, tilt the pelvis. The tailbone doesn't lift off. It stays on the floor. Spill that tea over the belly and squish that little grape under the back. Let's do one last round here together. Inhale, expand through the ribs. And exhale, draw the ribs together. So imagine your ribs coming in towards the center. Draw all the abdominals in. Activate the abdominal muscles. Draw the navel in. Nice job. And let's come back slowly to neutral spine. Good job. Now from here, we're going to bring the right knee in toward the chest. And just draw a few circles with the knee in one direction and then in the other, just to bring your awareness into that hip joint and to create a little bit of warmth and lubrication there. Nice. Keep the knee in toward the chest and start to slowly extend the left leg. Okay? So you should already feel a nice stretch in the front of your left hip. Now from here, we're going to come into what we call a half happy baby before we do the full happy baby. Now you want to keep the right hip soft so that you can elevate the leg and then see if you can reach for the outer edge of your right foot. If this is not accessible, hold on to your ankle or you can use a little towel or a strap like this or a belt around your foot and hold it like so. Okay, so you have a few options here. Whichever you choose, you're going to keep both your feet flexed. So the sole of your right foot is parallel to the ceiling. Inhale here. Exhale, give a gentle pull, traction on your leg so that you're reaching your right knee toward your armpit or toward the floor. Keep both the shoulders grounded and settled. Keep that left leg nice and straight. Maybe the left hand can just guide that leg down. This is a wonderful stretch for the hamstrings, for the sides of the hip, for the inner thighs. Let's just take one more breath here. Bend the elbow, pull the knee into your armpit and slowly release. Keep this knee bent. Bring the left hand outside the knee and slowly and carefully take your time here to guide the knee all the way to the left side of your body. Now, if you have a little gap between the knee and the floor, feel free to grab onto anything, a block, a cushion, a pillow, and place it there. If not, you can just let gravity do its job and let the knee sink down toward the floor. Now, the arms can come to the side, bending the elbows in a 90 degree angle, or you can just keep that left hand onto the knee just to create a little bit of weight onto that knee. And if you want to take it further, you can look over the right shoulder. And notice if there is any area of the body that's gripping or holding back, send your breath there and try to melt into that area, soften into that area a little bit more. And then look up towards the ceiling, slowly come back to center. Nice, bring the foot down onto the mat. Take a second, feel that sensation in the back. And twists are really great to ease out or stretch out the sides of your spine. We're going to move on to the left side. So give your knee a little pull first toward the chest and draw circles in one direction and then in the other direction, keeping your awareness in the hip joint. Still taking nice breaths in and out through the nose. Good. We're going to move on to ha half happy baby. So stretch out the right leg, keep both your feet flexed and right hand can come on top of the right thigh just to guide it down and left hand holds on to the outside edge of the foot again keep your left hip soft okay so that the leg can elevate and then bend the elbow and pull the knee in toward your armpit toward the floor keep both the shoulders relaxed so i'm going to just show you how it would look if you were using a strap 
this is how it would look. So you can use a towel, a strap, a belt, whatever you can find. Let's just take one more breath here. And then release, keep the knee bent, bring the right hand outside the knee and slowly guide that leg toward the right side. Again, keep a cushion, a block or anything underneath the knee if you need a little support or just let gravity do its work here. Pulling the knee a little closer to the floor, left arm, right arm can come into that cactus position. You can look over the left shoulder See if you can melt the shoulders a little more towards the floor. And then slowly and gently look up toward the ceiling. Come back to center. Now let's give both our knees a little pull toward the chest and rock from side to side. And this is really a great way to give a little massage to your lower back. If you have any neck injury, you're just going to stay here and avoid lifting the head. Otherwise, we're going to inhale here together. And as we exhale, draw the ribs in, activate the core muscles, lift the head, lift the shoulders and bundle up into a little ball. So this should really activate your core muscles. So think of drawing the ribs in, the navel, the belly button in, activate the core and lower down. And now we move on to full happy baby. So hold on to both the edges of your feet. Elevate the legs. Keep the hips soft. And now we're going to put, keep some distance in between the legs. So spread the legs a little bit and then pull the knees toward your armpits. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed. Although there's traction in your legs, you want to keep the shoulders nice and relaxed and the hips soft. And then bring back the legs together. Just roll over to one side and we're going to slowly lift ourselves up and come onto our hands and knees for cat and cow. So cat and cow stretches are really good to kind of mobilize the spine and bring your awareness into uh, the movement in your vertebrae. So knees are under the hip bones, wrists are under the shoulders without sinking into the shoulders. You want to keep your core active, push away from the floor, keep your neck long. Inhale to drop the belly, but keep that activation. So keep pulling your navel in toward the spine, lift the sitting bones, pull the shoulders back, keep length in the back of your neck. Exhale to round everything up. So press into the ground, round in between your shoulders. Tuck the tailbone and activate the abdominals. Let's do one more here together. Inhale to lift the sitting bones. Let your heart come forward. Back of the neck is long. Belly button is in toward the spine, but the belly is still dropping. Sitting bones are up. Exhale. to round, activating the front of the body and stretching the back of the body. And then slowly come back to your neutral spine. Walk your hands towards you, come onto kneeling and we're going to step the right foot forward. So if this is not very comfortable for your knee, make sure you have a little cushion underneath the knee or you can fold the mat just to provide a little extra cushioning for your knee, okay? And we're going to come in kind of a 90-90 degree, okay? Instead of coming into a deep stretch like this, like in some of the yoga poses, we wanna keep it nice and easy to start with. Good, bring the hands behind your head, clasp your fingers, and now you want to lengthen through the spine. So think of reaching the crown of your head high up. The back of the neck is nice and long. Good, that's the first thing. Now, you want to activate the left glute and activate the abdominals. <sighs> okay, so that should create a little, nice little stretch in the front of your left hip. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Feel that length in the spine. Feel that length in the back of your neck. And then reach the hands to frame your foot. And we're going to move into half splits. 
From here, you're just going to lift that back knee and step it one inch behind. That's it, just one inch further down towards the back of your mat. Again, if you need any elevation, feel free to use blocks or books or anything. Inhale and exhale, glide your hips back. Come onto the heel of your front foot. Watch for your hips moving side to side. You want to keep them centered. And inhale to lengthen the spine. This is how it would look if you're using anything to elevate, okay? So feel free to use whatever you need or you can just keep your hands down. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, reach the heart forward. So this is a wonderful stretch for the back of your legs, your hamstrings. And notice how my knee is softly bent. So you don't have to come into the full um, straight leg. Just keep it softly bent and you'll eventually get there. We're working on it nice and easy, nice and softly. So keep your lower belly engaged, pull the heart forward. Let's stay for one more breath. And then come back into that lunge position. Bring back your knee a little closer to you. Come to kneeling and switch sides. So left foot steps forward this time into that 90, 90 degree angle. Hands come behind your head, support the head, lift through the crown of your head, keep your neck long. This time you're engaging through the right glute and the abdominals. So feel that stretch in the front of your right thigh. Keep lengthening through the spine. Keep the back of your neck long, shoulders away from the ears. One more breath here. And then reach forward and down. Hands frame your foot. Walk that back knee just one inch behind you. And swing the hips back. Come into, onto the heel of your front foot. Flex the front foot. Keep the sitting bones lifted. So I'm not here. Okay, so I'm keeping the tailbone lifting, lengthening the sides of my waist, reaching forward through my heart, through the crown of my head. And you should really feel that stretch all along the back of your left leg this time. Inhaling to lengthen. So really use your breath here. Every inhale, lengthen. Every exhale, draw the belly in. Activate the core. Maybe you're reaching or melting your chest towards the leg. Let's take one or two more breaths here. Stay aware of any sensation that you're feeling, guiding your breath into the area of your body, and then come back into that lunge position. Walk the knee a little closer to you, and come to a seated position. We're going to move on to a forward fold. Now what I see a lot is people trying to reach their forehead to the knees and that's not really going to help you in the back. Okay, so we want to take it nice and easy and do it the right way. Again, if you think that you're rounding through the back, always you always have the option to bring a little cushion underneath the sitting bones or a block or a pillow. Now bring the feet onto the mat close to you and create a tall spine. So sitting up nice and tall. Now, hold on to the outside edges of your feet. What you want to create is a connection between your thigh and the belly, okay? And you want to maintain this connection. So lengthen through the spine, draw the shoulder blades down your back and keep this connection between your thighs and the belly. And from here, we're going to work on that forward fold. So walk the heels away from you. Lengthen through the spine. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale. Maybe the heels reach a little further. So notice how I'm keeping this connection. So I want to maintain it. And the moment you feel that, that you're losing that connection, that's where you're going to stay. And even if you're just here today, this is absolutely fine and it's great for your back. And eventually you'll be able to walk the heels or slide your heels away, keeping this connection between the belly and the thighs. And you'll be able to pull the heart a little forward. Maybe the, the heels will reach further down. 
and there is no rush at all so keep it nice and easy for yourself and every day you'll notice a little progress and every little progress is still progress right and should be celebrated Let's just take one more breath here. You're free to stay here longer, but just for the sake of this video, one more breath. And then slowly release. Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees drop. And we're just going to hold on to our toes. Open up the soles of our feet. So your feet could be away from you or close, depending on where you're reaching today. Let the knees open up wide and trust me, one year back I was here, I couldn't reach further down. So it comes with practice and it's just a matter of time. So just wherever you are, feel good about it. Feel grateful that you've made it to the mat. And you can gently start to flip your wings. <laughs> just moving the thighs, moving the knees up and down keeping that tall spine. We're just going to take two breaths here. Nice. So you're sitting up nice and upright. And now we're going to take a passive forward fold. So wherever you are, if your feet are away from you, that's fine. Again, if you need a little support under the knees or the thighs, please feel free to place something there, any cushion or anything. But you don't want to restrict the opening in your hips. So let gravity do its job first and then you can just support it a little bit. Okay? And just fold forward. You can round through the back for this one. Palms reaching up towards the ceiling. Facing up, sorry. And just allow that nice stretch throughout the back. Notice if you're gripping anywhere in your hips, in your inner thighs, send your breath there. And just try to soften and let go and surrender into this fold for just one or two more breaths. Letting go of any tension in your neck and your shoulders. And then slowly taking your time reach out of this posture by using your hands to guide your knees back together come into a cross-legged position and from here we're just going to end the sequence by just two simple stretches so reach your arms nice and high create length in both the sides of your waist sitting up nice and upright and then reach the right hand to the side reach the left arm overhead so keep your chest open notice if your left knee and left hip want to lift up keep them settled toward the floor inhale to come back to center and twist to the other side so you're leaning over toward the left side right arm is reaching away from you through the fingertips and come back to center moving into a simple twist now left hand is going to come onto the right knee right fingertips behind you what i want to emphasize on here is that you want to initiate the twist with your core muscles instead of pulling and pushing with your hands so you can even hover the hands off to start with inhale lengthen the spine this is really important because if you're rounding and then you're twisting it could lead to more pain in the back or more injuries in the spine so lengthen and as you exhale, use your core muscles, draw the ribs in together, activate the core and twist. Okay, wherever you reach is fine. Inhale once more here, lengthening the spine. Exhale, twist a little more. So left rib cage is coming forward, right rib cage is coming back. And inhale to look forward and slowly release and we'll do that on the other side so bring your right hand onto your left knee left hand behind you lengthen inhale exhale you can hover the hands off just to test yourself test how much of your core you're using draw the ribs in activate the core twist a little more right rib cage forward left rib cage back keep that length in your spine Shoulders relaxed. 
and then look forward, inhale and release. I hope that you found this video helpful and useful and informative. Again, these are just a few stretches that I recommend to ease the pain um, that you might be feeling in your lower back. However, please, if there's any chronic pain or acute pain, please visit your doctor or your healthcare professional. And like I said, today I have worked on just one area that could be the reason um, of your lower back pain. I will post videos targeting other areas such as back strengthening or hip opening that could also um, help in um, easing out pain in the lower back. Thank you very much for watching. Please do share this video with your friends, with your family, anybody who could benefit from this. And uh, I will see you next time. Thank you. Have a great day.